What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and today I'm going to show you how to adjust your seating position within iRacing. This is something that's new as of the most recent build and it's a pretty handy feature but people don't really know how to use it right now it seems. So well, let's go ahead and explain things. All you need to do is go out on track, do some laps. You can do this during practice whenever you would like. Once you get to your replay, just click down here, bring up your cockpit camera. You send in your cockpit, obviously, and then all you do is you hit Control F12, which brings up the camera editor. This basically allows you to move around your camera. What you should do first is go down to this key step factor and click this left arrow. That way, it's down to the maximum or down to the minimum uh, of 0 .050, which basically gives you just better control. Turn key acceleration and key 10x off. Those aren't really handy for what we're doing here. But at the top, you'll see this offset section, which is what we're going to be editing. X is your forwards and backwards. Y is your left and right. And then Z is your up and down. And you can click in these boxes, just delete. Zeros all across the board is what it is by default. So I want to sit a little bit further back because I just know from experience that this bottom little gap section, that's a time gap for... You know, your best lap and that's just handy to have on screen if you can and I like to sit a little bit lower because it makes me feel more in the car and things like that so I'm just go ahead and adjust it right where I feel you know, pretty comfortable with it this doesn't change your field of view or anything like that so it's still at the same thing it just allows me to move around and there is a limited range of movement so you can't use this to go ahead and you know make your bumper cam within iRacing so once you got it all set up the way you'd like it just hit save car and it's just going to come up as car.cam, save, don't need to rename anything. I had already done this, so I'm not going to override it because I already have my position set up. But all you do is just save it. It's already named and everything. And next time you go to the track, it will load that camera automatically by default, and you'll be sitting in the exact same position. And, well, that's that. And move around now when, you know, it's really handy, and it's very easy to set up once you actually know how to use that. Uh, but, you know, just make sure that you adjust your seating position, and then you hit save car, and that'll be what saved to the car. Whenever you drive that car, you'll get that seating position. So it's individual per car. If you want to sit really low in the Z4, you can do that. If you want to be way up in the skybox for the Lotus 49, you can do that, and I'll take care of it automatically. So hope you guys found this handy. All right, bye.